सो ही हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल दिस इज सेल्स फोर्स वाला सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लुक इन टू द डिपेंडेंट पिक लिस्ट इन फ्लो सो हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू यूज द डिपेंडेंट पिक लिस्ट इन फ्लो वी आर गोइंग टू चेक ओके सो फॉर दैट फर्स्ट यू हैव टू लॉग इन टू द सेल्स फोर्स ऑर्ग एंड यू हैव टू गो टू द फ्लो ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू चेक इट इन टू द स्क्रीन फ्लो सो फॉर दैट यू हैव टू गो टू सेटअप एंड क्लिक ऑन फ्लो सर्च फॉर फ्लो एंड देन क्लिक ऑन फ्लो Okay, now create a new flow. Okay, now create a screen flow. Create, and from this plus icon, you have to just click on it and just select the screen. Okay, now I will just write the dependent pick list. So we are going to look into the dependent pick list. So we have to first choose the dependent pick list. Okay, so for the label, I will just write dp underscore uh employee okay so first of all before using the dependent pick list you have to do two modification first okay so what are that modifications you have to go to the object manager on object manager you have to choose one object where you want the dependent pick list okay so like that uh, like this here you can see i have created the one dependent pick list that is employee and manager so i will just write manager so here you will see this is my pick list and this is my parent pick list okay and employee okay employee here you can see this is my child pick list that means the controlling field of this pick list is manager so that means when i will select the manager it will give me the dependent values of the manager okay so for that let me do one thing let me just go here and i will show you what are the values that are available in employee and manager and what are the dependent values okay so sorry i have to open the manager for that because manager is the parent uh, pick list okay so now here you can see edit button here so i will just click on the edit button here and after that you will see like the we have two managers that is prefer and akhil and under prefer we have tarun and under akhil we have mega and nitin okay so now let me go to the flow builder and drop a uh, right here dependent pick list so here you can see the dependent pick list i will drag it and drop it here okay i will just write dp underscore pick list dp underscore pick list that means the dependent pick list object api name so what is the object name object name is account okay now pick list one api name so what is the pick list one api name so for that i will go to the fields and relationship manager okay so that means the manager is a parent so we on pick list one we have to put the manager api name parent pick list api name that means so child for the child i will search for the employee and click and copy it and pick list to api name that is the employee okay now i have to put the pick list one label so i will put it as manager pick list one is required or not so i will put it as it is required so i will click on save now i will click on the pick list two label that is the employee I will put employee and pick list two is also uh, okay pick list two is not that much uh, uh, required for us so for that I will put false here okay now you can add the pick list three here as well but uh, we are using only two pick list that is why I can just uh like use only two i can do only with two pick list okay now in advance so how you are going to store this value so for that what you have to do you have to select the pick list values here either you can put it into the uh like a uh, uh, variable so let me just put the variable name here as uh, like pick list one value 
and the data type is text same for the pick list to variable pick list to value so here i will just create one more variable that is the name as pick list to and the employee type is text and click on done i'll turn it now let me save this flow let's see now what results we will get here so db underscore pick list so the flow is saved now let me op click on the debug button let's see now whether we are able to fetch the values or not so under prefer i can see only one value right so just like you have seen it here so one minute let me show you let me, let's check here like whether we are getting the right values here or not yeah we are getting the right values here under prefer we you are able to see the tarun and let's see on the akhil side like whether we are able to see the two values or not okay so let me change it to akhil let's see yeah we are getting the values here nitin and meka you are able to see it right now i will just finish it right now i have not attached any other component with the uh, screen flow that is why you were not able to means you the flow will not able to save the pick list values into a particular record okay so this is the basics about the uh, dependent pick list value which we used on the screen flow okay thank you guys thank you thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe my channel to get the latest videos about the sales post thank you